so i have masked the last and also we are going to take our center line like i have done you see the center line here so after drawing the center line we're going to take a measurement from the back of the last that is from the back of the last we're going to take a measurement three inch that is here from here to here three inch measurement so the mark is already on the last you can see it here it's already there so we'll draw a line at that point after drawing that line we are going to take another measurement from here from that line to somewhere here 1.2 inch 1.2 inch measurement so here is the measurement we take another line there so we're going to take another measurement from here to here is 1.2 then we take another measurement from here to somewhere here one inch one inch measurement from the feather feather edge one inch here's the one inch so here's the one inch so now you see this line here you see the line running from here down to the other side so we are going to from this line at the top here from where the line crossed at the top here we're going to take a measurement half inch from here to here half inch so here is it now we're going to pick the drawing from that point pick the drawing from that point i've already made a video on how to get those lines on the last so if you have not watched it you're going to see it at the end of this video on your screen just, just click to watch so take the line down to this one here you see our measurement our one inch measurement here from here to here one inch measurement so we're going to take a call from that measurement then join it with the other line you see it join it here so once we are done joining the line we're going to take another measurement so the measurement from here to somewhere here half inch measurement that is going to be the width of the strap then we extend the measurement to here half inch then half inch again so now we pick the drawing remember that line that crossed the toes so pick the line from that point through the half inch measurement join the measurements together take it we're going direct to the counter point so now we're going to measure our counter point so we're going to take two and half inch that is going to be our counter point two and half inch from the bottom of the last from here to here two and a half inch so once we have gotten that counterpoint we take a line from that point then join it with the one join it with the one coming from the two so we join it you see it we join it then the next thing now we're going to take a measurement again for the width of the strap so we're going to measure from here to here we're going to add extra one so we're going to measure 0 0.6 0 0.6 here is going to be a bit bigger than the other one so after doing that we take another call from here then take it through that one a 0 0.6 inch measurement 0 0.6 inch measurement the other one was half inch that's the one at the two area so this one is going to be 0 0.6 not half inch so once we have joined it we take it to the counterpoint and with that you see what we have so now we are done with the first part of the pattern we're going to cut it out before we proceed to the other one so let's cut it out
so once we are done cutting it out from the last we peel it out then we're going to paste it on our cardboard paper we're going to paste it on the cardboard paper make sure we have the shape intact So after doing that we make some adjustments make some corrections and after doing that the next thing we're going to be doing is to add our lasting allowance so i'm going to be adding one and a half inch extra remember this is a strap that is going to go in between the two so i'm adding one and a half inch as the lasting allowance so we extend the lines we retake the measurement of the width which is half inch then take this one down to take it down So here our last allowance is going to be one and a half inch also. Then we are going to extend these lines one and a half inch. That is uh, our last allowance. Extend the lines down. Extend it down. So after doing that we are going to cut the pattern into shape. So this is what we have as the first part of the pattern. Now let's proceed. I'm going to use my masking tape to cover this part again. I'm going to replace the missing part here. So I'm going to replace it. That is what I'm doing. So after doing that, now I'm going to pick this one here. Remember from here to here, we have our mark, the three inch measurement you see it here. It's on the last already. So I'm going to place this one here. Firstly, wait, let me take a measurement from the feather edge, our one inch measurement here is it from here to here one inch so now that is where the curve is going to land so now i have set this like this you see it so after setting it i'll begin to mark it out at that point you see it just mark it out okay now i'm done you see what i did there you see it just from here to the curve on both sides you see it so I'm still going to add more masking tape on this side so let me do that so I have done that so now I'm going to take this line down to the counterpoint so remember our counterpoint you see it here so I'll just pick it from that place see it so I'll pick it join it without our sketch join it pick this one too take it so now we'll come to this side there's a second line here see not this one the second one here you see it not this one this one is going round but this stopped here 
the small one here so we'll pick the drawing from that point pick it from that point join it with this one pick this one you can actually see the the lines from the video I said you will see at the end of this one so don't worry so once you have joined them we're going to take a measurement from here to somewhere here we're going to make that measurement 0 0.7 inch 0 0.7 inch measurement because here is a bit wider 0 0.7 then we come to somewhere here we make it half inch so here we make it half inch here is a little bit smaller than here so we take it from that point pass it through the half inch measurement then to meet with the second line which is this one so pick this one so you join the boat together join the boat together and with that we have the second part of the pattern so you see it this part is done now we're going to cut it out also and do the needful so let's proceed So once we are done cutting it out, we peel it out also from the last and then paste it on our cardboard paper as usual. So that is what we're going to be doing now. So after pasting it on the cardboard paper, we make some corrections, make some adjustments, and then we are going to add our allowance. So now we're going to add our lasting allowance here. We're going to add one and a half inch also. Then we are going to extend this line, extend this, and also this one. So well, we have added our lasting allowance. So we do the same thing here. Extend this line and extend this one then add um, one and a half inch also as the last an allowance so once we are done doing that the next thing now is to also cut this one into shape and then we proceed to the next one. So we are done doing that. We mark the pattern facing. So this is, is the part that is going to be on the media side of the last. So you see it. So now cut a strap. The length of this strap is um, 13 inch. The width is um, half inch. That is going to be the buckle strap the length is 13 inch the width is half inch so this one the length is 5 inch the width is also half inch which is the toe strap now pick your cardboard paper fold it into two equal parts and then take a measurement of the height of this heel 
so from here to here is three inch total so now watch what i'm going to be doing well firstly let me cut the cardboard paper to be equal so, okay i've done that so now watch closely what i'm going to be doing first i'm going to add my lasting allowance from here to somewhere here i'm going to be adding um let's add one and a half inch here's the one and a half inch then i'm going to add one and a half inch then i'm going to add the total length now that measurement i got three inch from that point here is the three inch now i'm going to place this strap to get the width remember the width is half inch so here is it and then i'm going to add a strap at the top from that measurement i'm going to add um, i may add two inch let me add two inch okay here's two inch all right so now from here to here measure one inch one inch measure one inch here's the one inch so here is it here is it then from the edge here from here to somewhere here major 0.3 inch 0.3 inch here is it so now watch what i'm going to be doing you see this measurement here this one the three inch measurement to so place our ruler on that point Firstly, join these two then from the three inch measurement we're going to join it with this measurement here so hope you understand what I'm doing so we join it so you see it so now let's cut it into shape let's cut it into shape so this is what we have this is going to be the back strap mark these lines very important mark the lines also this one so the patterns are ready we're going to assemble them to see how they look on our last so this is what we have we're going to stitch your elastic to join these two this one and this one you're going to use the elastic to join the both of them together and it is going to pass on top this one mm -hmm. it is going to pass on top this one so then this is your buckle strap it will pass here fold this one over or fold it the other side then use your rivet to hold it mm -hmm. then the buckle strap is this one the buckle will be around here no let me turn it the buckle has to be on this side let me turn it so this is where the buckle will be so with that you see what we have this is what we have so if you have any question feel free to drop them in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updated because more videos are still coming on the way so the video on how to get the lines on this last will pop up now on your screen just click to watch have a nice day and i'll see you in my next video